Matt Kelly. Yeah. Give it up for your host, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And now give up for me again. Yeah. Oh, you're all wonderful people. I just want to see all of your beautiful faces. So I'm tired of all these damn automatic toilets. Taking all the jobs from the hard working manual toilets. <laughs> they don't have work at the time. Uh, that was me doing some toilet humor. Let's move on. <laughs> you <Yeah>, great. <laughs> I uh, used to work at a retirement home, which was fun. I had fun there. I swear I had fun. And it was fun because I got to like make friends with all the old people and get valuable life advice, like go into the Navy, uh, which I took to heart. <laughs> I made good friends with one of the residents, and he was like, son, you should invest in rubber futures. And I was like, first off, I am not your son. <laughs> you should be in the dining room for the mentally ill. <laughs> Second off, why should I invest in rubber futures? <laughs> Why should I invest in rubber futures? Or do people have a bunch of mistakes on their math homework they need to erase? And he was like, no, you should invest in rubber futures because kids these days make a lot of mistakes that they wish they could have prevented with a condom. <laughs> I don't think you're all that great anymore, wow. <laughs> My opinion of you just went down. But yeah, it was great. I had fun at that retirement home. It was fun. One of the fun things that I did, since I'm tall, I took one of the pencils and I drew like a tiny dick on the top of a doorway. And it was fun because nobody noticed until the very end of the day when I hear the shrill cry of a banshee, which was my supervisor, coming from the serving area. Who drew a dick on the doorway? and I got away with it. <laughs> she came up to me and I was like, oh, I don't know who did that, it must have been a ghost. And she accepted it. <laughs> it worked. If you ever work in a retirement home or just go visit one and you do something bad and somebody finds out, blame it on a ghost. Because chances are, it's plausible. <laughs> I want to start a band because I'm a fun person and I feel like fun people have bands. I want to start a band and I want to call it Sans Ferdinand. <laughs> and it'll just be a bunch of instruments on stage with no people. <laughs> I didn't get the response I wanted on that joke, so I'm going to do another. <laughs> I want to start a band called Pots and Pans Ferdinand. <laughs> There'll be a bunch of people on stage banging on pots and pans. <laughs> I didn't get the response I wanted on that show. So I have another. I want to start a band called Cans Ferdinand, where it's just a can attached to a string, attached to another can that the band plays into. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> You're getting better. You guys are making up for before. I want to have a child, but I want him to have an easy life. Or her, I want her to have an easy life. Uh, so I'm going to name them middle... Uh, oh, sorry. Whoa, I got ahead of myself a little bit. I want to name them first, middle initial, and last. So they'll have a really easy time filling out standardized test forms. <laughs> Performing for you guys is like riding a roller coaster. <laughs> up and down, up and down. <laughs> I went to a Catholic church once uh, when I was seven. 
You can keep laughing. <laughs> yeah, I think the Catholic Church is a joke too. <laughs> Everybody look at her. <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> Alright, now we're past that. I went to a Catholic church once when I was seven. It wasn't fun. I hated it. I was waiting for the cracker the whole time, but I didn't go through communion. <laughs> so, my cousins told me the secret word to get the cracker that you have to say to the priest. So I was in the clear. I went up, I got the cracker, I took a bite out of it, and I was like, this tastes gross, and I threw it away. <laughs> For those who aren't familiar with the Catholic faith, that, faith, that cracker is the body of Christ. <laughs> and I rejected Christ at a very young age, that's when I found out I was an atheist. <laughs> thank you. I'm not done. I just wanted to thank you all for being here. And, uh... I, I wish I could take that thank you back now. <laughs> I want to go to the bird cage at the zoo and play Freebird with my band Sans Ferdinand. <laughs> and once the guitar solo starts, the cage collapses and all the birds fly away. <laughs> it's a metaphor, people. <laughs> What else did I want to do? Oh yeah, I feel like Al Capone really hated Harry Houdini. Uh, because every time Al Capone would go make Harry Houdini, like he would throw him into the river with the concrete block tied to his leg. He would just see Harry Houdini walking down the street uh, three days later and be like, what the hell? This guy should be at the bottom of the Mississippi River! <laughs> that was a uh, slightly geographically accurate joke. <laughs> I originally wrote that joke to be the Mafia, not Al Capone, but I felt like it would hit harder if I had an actual name. You're witnessing art at work here, people. <laughs> Here's one last tasteful artsy joke for you. I feel like babies are a lot like poops. And that you really feel them in there. But you aren't gonna know what they look like. Until they're staring back at you covered in blood. And they smell. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Give it up for your wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.